G'day guys. So in this video, just going to do a bit of a vlog. Um, one of my mates suggested it to me with all the big things we've got happening with Warby Sessions in the next end of year, next year. He said, why don't, why don't you have a bit of a go of it? So I thought, thought I'd give you a bit of a rundown, a bit of an insight of who, who Matt is. Motorbike mechanic, a qualified motorbike mechanic. Um, used to work for Fraser Motorcycles. Left there, did a traineeship at Mount Thorley Walkworth as a dump truck operator. Completed that, um, went on to supervising for a bit. Went to the next stage, which is like your dozers and graders and stuff like that. Came as um, supervisor there as well. Then from there, a job arrived. A job arrived with the excavators which is in mining you can either like su supervisor is obviously above all the operators but the way I saw it I wanted to I wanted to get the skills and then become a supervisor I feel you get a lot more respect the world's biggest digger at the moment at work is um, 9800 so it's it's massive to give you an no idea it's like 9000 ton buckets 12 meter cab off the ground um, yeah, a bit over 800 tonnes, so it's pretty big. So I've been doing that for 14 years. The bigger plans, I've just, I'm currently about to be homeless, so I've just sold, and I'm moving in with mummy and daddy, which is super exciting, you know, goals of a 32 year old. But, um, so I'm gonna, I've gotta buy another house. But the cool thing that I've got happening is I'm gonna buy, I'm buying a fair bit of equipment and I'm hoping to have camping up at the farm up here, just out of Gloucester. So we've been, we've had this farm up here for 28 years, I think we've been up in the valley. So going up there, hopefully camping, hoping once I get my the new bigger digger and stuff like that, have camping and everything going by the end of the year. And then next year, we're mapping out and working out if we can do a full drive park up there so um, we've got a bloke that rents on the property so we've got a guy that's always up here and I thought I'd give you a bit of a tour of what where where we are and how magical this place is so come along for a ride and let's check it out so the start of the property is pretty much where that bottom of that tree line starts and then we run over about five six hills over the other side here so I'll show you So we have about a thousand acres here, probably a little bit over to be honest, but um, it's got the river running straight through the place, which is awesome. It's just down there, it runs the whole way through, all through the bottom of the joint. And then it's tar, literally right to our doorstep. <laughs> we got lucky. So anyway, let me show you how cool this place is and the plans we've got. Good. And jump on the bike and I'll take you for a bit of a spin and show you show you most of it I'll show you part show you where I'm going to, where I'm thinking of doing the camping and yeah stuff like that so jump on the bike and let's get on to it Eventually here, this will all be pushed up into a massive dam, so this will be a good swimming hole. Then we're going to put like a big bridge across the back of the dam, which will bring you over to here, which then we're going to make big camping pads. So there'll be a road that comes around through here, be camping pads all along through, all through this section. Also, we'll have it down, down here is where the river is. So. Here's the river, so it runs the whole length of the property. So I'm, I'm going to know about putting camping down this level, mainly in the case if it rains or if there's a flash flood, 
you know, it's a bit how you going, but I know it's so beautiful. Once this is all cleared up, like just needs mowing, really, slashing. Put in some good campsites. The campsites up the top here as well, looking over the river. So you're not that far, really, at least up there. If it does flood, you no longer, yeah, we don't have to worry, really. So you wouldn't believe it. I actually slashed this, not even probably two and a half weeks ago. They've had so much rain up here. Absolutely unreal. But this is one of the swimming holes. I'm going to clean all up the access into here. It's just a beautiful... Apparently it was flooding only last week, but it's still a little bit murky. Good swimming hole here. Um, it, it's overhead over in there. Pretty, really clear once it all flushes out. Then, as I said, it goes the whole way down. Up in the other corner, I should have gone there first. There is a massive, massive swimming hole, and I'm talking about one and a half times me. So that'll be pretty cool, but this one's really something I want to really want to mow it like get it all nice and really nice even just put some good turf down so it's just a nice swimming area clean out some of the logs in it and just make it a really nice spot so yeah it's probably hard for some people to see but i know there's a fair bit of work but i'm keen to get it to make it happen because i think i think it'll be awesome i love coming up here so i can't see why others won't but anyway we'll go for a trek up the top and i'll show you some of the views up here and show you how big this place is. This is ridiculous. I'm going to have to come up here and slash. This is unbelievable. I just want a bit of rain and a bit of sun does. Anyway, so there's a trail that runs that way. So pretty much where I said those trees were, that's over that side. So that's, it's all this. And then obviously keeps going. So this side, this will be, more, this will be the camping side over here. And then eventually the other side's going to be the 4x4 park if we can get it happening. So I'll head over there and have a bit of a look. So up a bit further up here, back down there where it's just absolutely unbelievable. I'm going to bring the slasher up. But anyway, I'm um, going to have like a bit of picnic spots on the place as well. So you can have a nice view if you want to have a view. Or I'm guessing most people want to be down near the river. But then this steps into, so these two... Um, Bugger. So from here, everything for another oh, three, three and a half hills. This will be where the full drive track is. So. so it goes all the way up and you've got. So it goes all the way up the top um, and runs along the top there, which I've got it. I'm hoping to run. Once I get my new dozer, we'll run along the top and then we'll drop back down the side. So I'll have tracks. All the tracks will do it. We'll, we'll end up on the main track and do a big loop back out is my plan. But, you know, see how things work out. So that's the top half. As you can see, there's a fair bit, fair bit to happen up here. But, you know, should be pretty awesome. We go actually all that in front and goes over that ridge as well and then back down the valley so all that up and over this is this is the place so it's pretty damn magical I tell you anyway I'll take you up to one of my favorite camp spots take you over the back and We'll call it quits, I'd say. I'll have to get home. So this is my favourite camp spot on the property. You can probably see why. 
Epic views, couple of bush lemon trees. But yeah, so this is, this will be where hopefully do some full drive track. So it won't keep boring you, but it just keeps going on and on and on. Definitely need to do some more slashing by the looks of it, but yeah, this is it. So I've just spent like five minutes on the slasher, probably 10. <laughs> You see what I mean? Like once it's once it's cleaned up, it'll be a pretty amazing place. And the other thing is too, we're not just it's gonna be camping. It's gonna be camping with a twist. We're gonna have some really cool things. I'm not gonna tell you what they are right now because one, I don't want anyone to steal them, but two, two, I gotta get it all happening. So anyway, might head up the top sort out that hectic weeds up there and I'll show you the view that I was talking about that we couldn't see. <laughs> Doesn't that look a bit different? <laughs> oh, once again, beautiful views. Anyway, time to start heading home, unfortunately. There we go, guys. There's a bit of an insight of what I've got going on. And I might do these in between my normal videos, I think. They're a bit easier to manage, so. But, I'll chat to you soon.